going on here? You're on camera there, buddy. Everybody sees what you're doing. Everybody sees what you're doing. Ah! Hey, Jaw. Say good morning. Not to me. To your friends. Good morning, guys. I'll say it for you. Hey, Jaw. Well, good morning, my friends. Your old pal Jordan the Lion. We're dressed, showered, and ready to go. And the old boy is going over to visit his girlfriend Pollyanna today, so that's our route today. We're gonna walk over to Pollyanna's house, then I'm gonna take us to do a vlog. Well, the legs always seem to move a little faster when he knows he's going to Pollyanna's. Now, I know yesterday I said I was gonna go driving, but I realized that next week I'm pretty much driving everywhere and gonna be out of town all week, so I wanted to get some exercise in by walking around a lot today, so today we're gonna walk most of the day and take the train like once. And I decided we're gonna cut through Whitley Heights to get there over to Pollyanna's today because I love that neighborhood. Look at the top of the Capitol Records building. There are people up there working on the point, at the base of the point anyway. Well, here's the Hollywood Gateway sign. Look at what these people have on their windows for decorations. <laughs> like paparazzi looking. Now we make the ascension uphill. Wow, look at that plant. All right, we're gonna go up this hill because this is where Francis X. Bushman used to live right at the end of this driveway. But you can actually cut through Willie Heights through there. Now I know I've showed it a ton of times, but we always have new viewers joining, so this used to be where Francis X. Bushman's house was. Now there's about five or six houses, but at the time it was just his house. He was the biggest movie star of his day, and he was actually living here the day he found out the stock market crashed, and then he was broke. Should have named it after him. If you ever read the book about him, Inside the book, they talk a lot about how once he got this property, he ended up, he always had a love for animals and his dad would always take care of animals. He was like a vet when he was growing up. So as long as Francis could learn to take care of the pets, he could always have any pets he wanted. So when he moved here, he had just about any pet you can think of and actually bred dogs, bred Great Danes and sold them to his movie star friends, people like Valentino. Now at the time, this was a big silent movie star community. Started up in the late teens. Everybody was living up here. I just showed you where Bushman lived, but literally right around the corner from him, Valentino had a house until they decided to create the 101 freeway. They kicked him out. Check out that house. That actually has a historical plaque from 1936, but I sure wouldn't have guessed that was 1936. Probably my favorite neighborhood in Hollywood. Yeah, I've just always loved this neighborhood. I've always said if I ever came into any kind of money and could afford it, I would buy a house up here. Would you live in that house on stilts? I think we all know what my answer would be. Look at that neighborhood over there. Isn't that beautiful? Reminds me of Italy, the way the houses are kind of stacked up on the hill. And don't worry, I don't think we're in any danger of me being able to afford a house up here anytime soon. God though, look at these. Look at that, isn't that something? Very villa-esque. Oh, well check out this gargoyle over here. He's a handsome devil, isn't he? Such a cool looking house, man. Right there on the curve. Look, even up at the top right up here, you can see the uh, that little Egyptian sphinx figure. Wow, isn't that cool? Now we're gonna be taking this little bend right here. We're gonna take it down here. Yeah, that is a great house. So cool. Even a lion on the, uh, the door knocker. 
What is going on here? And a severed head? I said, you know where you are now, don't you? And he started looking all around, he knew. All right, you two, have fun. I'm gonna go off and do some vlogging. You're gonna hang out with Sam. Have fun, kids. All right, gang, we're gonna go off and do the vlog. We're gonna take the train over there because it's not too far of a walk from the train. This is one of the coolest, wackiest stores in all of Hollywood. I know you guys are gonna love it. And I always love taking a look at this American Legion. It's not every day you can see an old cannon like that out front. I've actually seen this in movies before, this American Legion. I was just walking past this old cottage looking building they've turned into like a yoga studio and they painted all this in the back. I love it. Isn't that great? See, it's even got like painted windows and stuff. So classy. See, doesn't that look cool for a yoga studio? I love it. Now, Lionhearts, I got a little bit of a surprise for you. I got an email today from something that I have wanted to vlog ever since before I started vlogging. It was on my bucket list of things I want to eventually do. I got an email today from the company that owns what I want to vlog, and they said, we like what you're doing. If you're available Monday, we'll meet you Monday so you can do it. So Monday, I'm gonna do it. You'll probably see it on Wednesday because of I'm two days ahead on vlogs, or yeah, two days ahead on vlogs, so. You'll see it Wednesday, but I don't think uh, I could possibly be more excited than I am to see this. I, like I said, I've wanted to do this so long, it's gonna be great. Let's take a shortcut through Hollywood and Highland. All right, let's go. We're starting out right here. We're actually just going to here. All right, we're here. It's kind of an odd thing to see just laying here by itself. One knee pad. Well, here we are. This is what I want to vlog today. I want to show you one of the craziest, wackiest stores in all of Los Angeles, and specifically Hollywood. It's one of my favorites. You can find things here that you literally can't find anywhere else, and I can't even explain it to you until you see it. Now this place has a little bit of everything, and I think you'll see what I mean when I start showing you around. Cookie jars that are brains, money banks that are bullets, Gotta love it. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some postcards here. Some Patreons are gonna need some very unique postcards and this place is perfect for it. Now these are all their crazy selection of coloring books. You have medieval coloring books, you have anatomy coloring books. It's pretty cool, you can buy uh, paper dolls with outfits, you can buy literally just about anything you can think of. You can buy tiki stuff in here. You'll see. This is just one of the greatest stores ever. The Witch's Almanac coloring book, a dot to dot book, the Trump coloring book, and then check this out, puzzles, magical unicorn coin banks. This is a great coloring book that basically outlines all the real art and then lets you color it in however you see fit, which is great. Your classic book on how to outwit a squirrel. Check this out. <laughs> Disease and Art of Medical Illustration. Then you come over here and you can buy the religious candles that people always light, except here you can actually get Mark Bolin, you can get Joey Ramone, Salvador Dali, Tiny Tim, Little Richard, Jane Mansfield. Well, there's a couple of Ramones. Isn't that cool? Marlon Brando. Wow, that's Doris Day. Isn't that crazy? Nikola Tesla. So check this out. They actually have a Didi Ramon candle. So I think I'm gonna get that for uh, for Stefan. Unless they have something better. He said they might have a, a Funko Pop of Didi. So I just couldn't believe they had this. So I have to get it. Wow, there's even Carl Sagan. 
Billie Holiday. That's so cool. I love these. Now they have books on just about anything you could ever want, and that's what really drew me in here when I first started coming in here. You could find things like this, just like novelty surf skate books and everything, but then you have like old uh, sideshows and roadside attraction type books here, clown books. Look at that. Bizarre outlandish gadgets and doohickeys. <laughs> Now here you get to the books on tiki and making cocktails and stuff, but they actually have an entire section on the other side of the store that we're going to make our way over to that you can buy all the glasses and everything if you were going to throw a tiki party. Look, a book on who would buy this and all the crazy items that people used to buy. I'm telling you, this store is just absolutely the coolest. And all of those paintings up on the wall are all for sale. They're all kind of done in that Steve Keen type um, where they do it directly onto the wood. Isn't that great? Then if you need anything cactus related or teepee related or just a taxidermy bat to display in your house, you can get one here for 50 to 70 bucks. And these are little like, as this one says, random crap, but they're little pocket cases for putting your odds and ends in there. You can use like a mixtape to put your stuff in. There you've got the uh, Kit Kat Kitty. But check this out. You've got like all the skulls with the phrenology and the uh, Ouija boards and all that stuff. All these decorated skulls you can put in your house. The luchador stuff. I mean, check that out. That's all Dia de las Muertes. Oh, right there. Wedding cake topper right there. <laughs> right there. Oh, that is good to know. Did you ever hear that story about when Roseanne had a house in Brentwood and they were complaining because she was having lawn flamingos out in their front yard? All of her neighbors complained. There's the donut. There's the, uh, the mermaid raft. You get in the center part and then it makes you look like a mermaid. <laughs> and then check this out. This is a treasure chest made out of all seashells. And it's big too. Now here you can find all kinds of different incense and various things for religious practices or whatnot. Check all this out. That's cool. That's a uh, soap dispenser that's a grenade. And then you have these theme ones. Pope soap. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Rogers soap. You see that? It says, you can never go down the drain. Speaking of wedding cake toppers. Now here's some awesome uh, books on like the Hells Angels and different motorcycle gangs and various people that were known for motorcycles. You can see Steve McQueen down here. Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Now, like I said, they have everything. I mean, they have books on even right here, as you can see, architecture and Palm Springs life. Yeah, it's all kinds of stuff. Sub pop. Yeah, this is all like pop culture, music related stuff. Now I could check out this area. Now we're coming into all the tiki accessories. You're going to love this. Look, you can put your dips and things like that for parties in there. Put your guacamole, your salsa, your hummus, all that stuff in there. I may have to get some of these at some point. I love stuff like this. But yeah, look at the variety of all the things you can buy here if you're throwing a party. Look, it's like Don the Beachcomber just emptied out their entire collection of things. And look, there's even uh, one from Easter Island. <laughs> That's so great. Then you have all these Funko Pops and bobbleheads and... So this is what we're gonna see. They, they said they might, they have a Ramones one, but they weren't sure who it was. Oh, look at that. I love eyeballs. That's so cool. Star Trek. And if you need any food pillows, you got the tacos, the burgers. I mean, they have it all here. That is so cool. Oh, did you see that? It's a rocket cocktail shaker. And then check this out down here. I love this. The Spock glasses. Then you had an elephant sippy cup and a bat sippy cup. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to buy them, but they're hilarious novelties if you have a kid. Brass knuckles on the coffee mug right here. Isn't that great? All kinds of hula girls. More of the tiki section. Look at that kind of stuff. Man, I love it. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get some of these at some point. Spice up the apartment a little bit. Oh, cool. Dolly Parton coaster and Elvis coaster. Looks like Jane Fonda, Martin Luther King. Check this out, the beer openers. 
and bottle openers are all little tiki men. Now if you actually spin around then you get some really cool stuff like, check this out, you can make the uh, crazy eggs that look like a skeleton, there was a, uh, where was the cookie cutter in here, oh cursed cookies, I saw that one, that was great, gingerbread men, oh check out the pizza peddler, it's a little monkey that looks like he's on a unicycle that cuts your pizza for you, everybody needs one of those. I remember that. I've never seen it in a grenade style, but I've seen that saying on there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's David the Gnome. One of my favorite cartoons from Nickelodeon when I was a kid. The voice by uh, Tom Bosley. Then you can buy these historical figures. These are always great. Plus this. I always like these guys. The all-seeing eyeball. Which is, of course, a variation on the Magic 8-Ball. Look at that scotch tape dispenser. <laughs> oh, check that out. Retro TV glasses, so it makes everything look like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like you're looking right through an old TV. Now, here's some cool oddities. Drumstick pencils. An inflatable evil unicorn. Cats love it. <laughs> Grenade mobile speakers that you plug in with a USB. That's pretty cool. Brain ice cube makers. Classic. Drink your highball out of that. Yeah, we're not even halfway through the store yet. All right, now let's go take a look at all the novelty socks over here. Yeah, oh yeah. I never buy novelty socks because they always get destroyed too quick. You never get to really wear them for more than like a month or two, I feel like. Oh, Bob Ross ones? Oh, now you're talking. Oh, now you are talking. Yeah, they got some good ones here. I actually saw some, some guy walking down Hollywood Boulevard yesterday with both of those on each chest. So as he's walking towards you, it's the middle fing two middle fingers coming at you. Look at that. Did you read that one? Look at this. Do one thing every day that scares your family. Like Russell and Alligator. A zombie sleep mask. <laughs> oh, now that's good. You've got a ray gun that's actually a nose and ear trimmer. And then a bonehead comb. Look at all the inflatables up there. You've got a whoopee cushion that you can use in the pool. You've got an inflatable eyeball beach ball. All these great masks, all this great art and paintings. Then you can actually buy your greeting cards here as well. They have all kinds of crazy greeting cards, including that and that. Rubber chicken, anyone? Oh, there's the luchador mask collection, if you need a luchador mask. Some pretty good options here, actually. Not bad, not bad at all. What the devil is that? Adam the Woo would love that cat mask. Now this place also has some of the best shirts you can ever find. This is where um, my ex-girlfriend got me my uh, my Frank Zappa shirt, I believe. Yeah, they have some great stuff here. Look at that. That, uh, that mermaid shirt. All kinds of good stuff, T-Rex. Bigfoot and Krampus scarves. Yeah, they have so much stuff here. You really could spend an hour, two hours in here because there's another room back here and then on the other side of this wall is actually a museum or like an art gallery where they let different artists every month put their art in there for sale. Look, they have a few more little like odds and ends gadgets over here. Rey Mysterio! Now this is cool, they have some of those hotel room style keys that Scott Michaels sells at Dearly Departed and they have like different places so they're not the same ones he has. You can see Camp Hero, Amity Surf Inn, Team Dude, oh here's a Slaughter Lamb and Pub Inn. Yeah, I have some interesting ones here, Hotel California, well he does have the Bates Motel one so that's, they do have, both have the same one there. Oh, Love Shack, B-52s. That's funny, no regrets. Here we have a Switchblade Spork, Taco Bell would be proud. Pop Cam. Yeah, they've got so many little things here. This is just to whet your appetite for coming in here. I mean, anything from your childhood, you can probably find a reproduction of it in here somewhere. Look at this, Kiss Robots, Demon Robot, Breaking Bad. There you've got pink mustaches, crazy regular mustaches, and then tiny hands. 
And you can buy a Ouija board. As well as a Gorilla Grabber, check this out. They're monkey paws that you use the little handle here right there to, uh, to make the hand move, I'll show you. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, there you go, can of farts. Farts in a can. There's a, uh, an emer emergency fart button. I guess if you're supposed to be able to hit that and that excuses it. Electronic yodeling pickle. Well, that's pretty cool. You do, cat. Make your own pet. <laughs> Look at that. Seriously, make your own mini pet. Make your own jaw. The old paratroopers. I was over here looking for the Didi Ramon Funko Pop and I can't really find it. I found the Joey one, but I was really blown away when I looked over here and saw Axel and Slash, which I'd never seen before, and then right below it was Jerry Garcia, and then you had Lemmy Kilmeister. Pretty cool. I love the ones that they're doing now. A couple of Elton Johns. Now these are the things I really love. They have these robots of Bruce Lee and the Terminator. That's the kind of stuff you just don't find it very many places. Battling Shakespeare, a little puppet that you can put on your hand and make him box. The Punching Nun, I've seen those before. Rosie the Riveter, oh it's Big the Foot. Edgar Allan Poe, oh, I used to have one of those, Big Foot Collar. You yell from the other side of it and it's supposed to make a weird noise but the one I had didn't do anything. Ooh, a remote controlled zombie. You control it with the, uh, the little mouse brain. Doesn't that look like a mouse? Looks like a mouse you'd use for your computer. Oh, check that out, glow-in-the-dark zombies. Look at this, this choice cuts. It shows you how to get the meat out of an animal. Isn't that crazy? Gizmo! And some really good Batman replications. The old figures you could get when you were a kid. Now this is what I was into when I was like in second and third grade. It was like DuckTales and Darkwing Duck and stuff like that. Heathcliff. And an Iggy Pop McFarland, which I hadn't seen yet. It's a pretty good one. That's funny, I was just saying in a vlog the other day how much I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I thought it was great. And then this is cool because you can buy like all this religious stuff from all over the world. You can buy, there you can see like a bank and you can see the uh, the wooden clogs from, from uh, Amsterdam, from the Netherlands. Then even this kind of stuff. Isn't that great? I mean, this is just the most unique story you can pretty much find in this town. <laughs> the melting clock. Look at all that stuff. Man. Yeah, you can, you can really furnish a place pretty cool at this place and just do it all here. <laughs> this is cool. Instant therapy for bad breath. See, here's it's more of the rock and roll book section. They even have one on Darby Crash, which a lot of places would not have a book on Darby Crash from the germs. Look at this book. Isn't that great? Yeah, check out the, that's the front of the store right there. Isn't that great? Kind of give you like a view 360. Now we still didn't go back to the gallery, but I'll save that for another time because we the whole point today was to show you what the store sells, not so much that they feature artists every month. Now I'm gonna head back this way to the postcards and buy you guys a few cool postcards that I'm gonna be sending out Patreons to. All right, I picked out the postcards that I'm gonna buy, so if you get any of these postcards next month, you'll know where they came from. And of course, as a thank you for Stefan doing the Didi Ramon vlog with me, I'm gonna buy him this, this candle of Didi for his house. See what it says up here? It's great. All good Cretans go to heaven. Look at that Elvis Kozik up there with the skull and everything, the glasses, it's awesome. All right, we're getting out of here. All right, gang, this was Wacko's. Like I said, one of the best stores in all of Los Angeles. Make sure you come in here when you're in town. Oh, and I just saw that. 50 bucks and you can have your own Harold Lloyd hanging on a clock. Well, when my birthday comes around, I know what to ask for. And they have a little soap plant events board. So if you're in town, you don't know what to do, you come here and look at this and they'll tell you all the weird, fun things to go come see. Like some x-ray specs. I'm sure you can all understand now why I love this place, right? Make sure you check it out when you come to LA. I'm serious, this is like, You'll be hard-pressed to come here and not find something worth buying. 
And on that note, I think we can take off. Okay, I've had a couple of people ask me because they said in the live stream that I wasn't really uh, using my juicer to juice. I was buying my juice right now, and a couple of people had sent me emails and asked if I could tell what I'm mixing for my green juice. So sure, Trader Joe's. Go to Trader Joe's, get the green juice. I pour half of that into a coffee mug, or actually, yeah, half of that in a coffee mug turns out to being about three-fourths of the glass, and then I just top it off with this Naked Kale Blazer, because this tastes much better than that one. Has a little bit of orange in it. So um, that way, three-fourths this, one-fourth this. I'm really not hungry after that. Now this is not a permanent thing. I'm not gonna be buying the juice all the time. I've just been doing it because last couple of times, like I mentioned in the live stream that I have went and bought kale, it's been really bad. And sometimes you go to the supermarket and they don't even have it because it's such a fashionable thing for people to be buying. So half the time I go, I either can't get it or I've been getting bad crops of it. So I just decided to go with the pre-made stuff and mix it and see how that did. And it's been pretty good for me. Man, this 60 Days In show is always awesome. I always end up not liking the participants for the most part, but the show itself is great. Well, Jeffrey and Nando, for all the great things that Wacko had, they didn't have you guys. We're going to call it a night because, uh, well, that's the end of it all. Joss spent the night at Pollyanna's house. I just got a text and said, can he spend the night? They're asleep. And I said, sure. So that's going to be the end of it. Well, good evening, my friends. I just wanted to thank Sarah Whitestar for becoming my newest Patreon. And thank all of you that contact me today to buy some more of those green sunglasses. I appreciate it. I love the fact that there are going to be people all over the world wearing sunglasses that we all share, even if it's a limited amount. It's pretty cool knowing that we'll all have the same one. So thank you very much for supporting me. Have a great night. And I'm telling you, you are up for a big week. I have a lot of big vlogs that are pre-planned. Some you are absolutely not going to believe that I do. Have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Make it through,